Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so the kids and I, leave it there for me, babe. Go ahead and feed the dogs. It's perfect. The kids and I are in my bedroom again. I know y'all gonna get tired of me in this bedroom, but I have not achieved bedroom peace. And this um, desk, while it is a blessing, it is a little bit over large and I need to achieve bedroom peace. So I'm gonna change it around again. I'm gonna try to move it to the other side of the bedroom to make sure that I, cause one thing that bothers me is I want to have a, a bedroom, right? Before I had a desk in here, it was just my bedroom. And then I had a small little chair in here for the kids. I'd love to have a couch for them to just sit and chill and all the things. So the way I have it set up now, my, my double monitors kind of are in front of my TV, so I can't really see anything. And sometimes the kids will come in here and they will um, watch TV. Go eat, Mama. And um, I think it would be better placed. So I just moved, I've moved this bed three times in the last three days, but I'm gonna move it again. So I'm gonna take it back this way. I'm gonna move the dresser to in front of where this um, is. I'm gonna move that down, right? So this part of the room is gonna be the bedroom. And then over there where the printer is and where the window is, that's gonna be the new office space. I want to, when I come in the bedroom, that's the office. And when I come on this side, it's the bedroom. So prayerfully, it's not gonna take the kids and I extremely long to get it done um, because I don't have a long time. It is after nine, we're just getting home on a Wednesday night. So anyway, um, we're gonna jump in. But I did wanna share with you guys, I had a company reach out to me. This is LifeWit and um, I don't have room in my laundry room for hampers. I just do not have any room in there for hampers. Not with the current sit setup. Even if when when I get some other cabinets in there, it's not gonna um it's not gonna be able to have cabinets. I mean um hampers in there either. Let me sit down, y'all. I'm kind of tired. All right, this is a freestanding laundry hamper. It's collapsible. It's um, made of a good material. So here's what it looks like. It's a stripe pattern. So what I'm gonna do, because I have some space in my, in my master closet, is I am going to open this and put it in my master closet. Because most of you see my house clean, but there are days when I have clothes on the floor. And that's because I didn't get to the laundry room to get them in there. And I don't wanna have that habit, right? So I'm gonna not have bad habits in my house. Um, so I'm gonna open this and then I will come back and share with you a little bit more about life with and um, the hamper itself. The one thing I do like is it's not that fabric, just fabric material. This feels, this is a solid fabric, right? Not that I would have anything that would, um, that would leak on it or anything because I would I don't put wet clothes in the hamper those go directly in the in the wash anyway let me put you guys on a tripod and I'm gonna open this up and put it into my master closet so let me do that I'm playing closet but I'm gonna be okay for right now okay so this is a square shape which is gonna fit in that little alcove in my closet it kind of feels like a waterproof like it's waterproof and it also has these handles on it right so it makes it easier to transport to the laundry room but it's a square shape and it'll fit right in that little alcove in my closet that i have allocated for um nothing at the moment so i'm going to take this in my closet and see if it'll sit in there and then i'm going to actually show you the website where this is where this is so you can kind of see what the features are i like to show people the features it's pretty big it's very deep so i could be able to get at least a week's worth of clothes just my things because i don't cross mingle clothes with the kids they have their own situations going on so i'm going to run this into my closet and then the kids and i are going to get moving but i'm going to show you their website just so you can kind of see what they have going on and what they offer Alrighty, you guys. So I wanted to bring you over to Amazon where you can find this hamper. It is the Life Wit Laundry Hamper, um, freestanding collapsible large clothes hamper. It does have those extenders. Um, it says you can use it for clothes or toys. I'm using it for clothes. 
Um, we don't have little people in our house that would have toys, so it's not necessary for us to have it for that particular purpose. Um, it's $13.99. It comes in gray. It comes in blue. And it also comes in pink, right? So it comes in the three colors. Um, let's see what it has to offer here. All right. All right, here you go. It has the rigid iron wire that's at the top, right, and also at the bottom to make it stand up. So it stands up perfectly just fine. Um, <laughs> it's 26, uh, 23.6 inches tall by 11.8 inches wide and then 15.7 inches wide on the other side right so this is the ultra large um the one that i have is the ultra large then uh, you can actually carry it if you don't want to use it as a hamper or if you do right taking it to the laundry room it's easy to transport um, it does collapse which and it collapses really uh it's real compact so you don't have to worry about um it being overly large in your space and uh here is just showing um, a mom who's using it with toys again i'm using it in my bedroom closet my master closet and it's going to work out so so very well for for all of us for me especially because i do have a tendency sometimes if i'm rushing to not pick my clothes up until i get home from work and what i want to do is not do that anymore so i'm going to try to make sure that i get everything in the hamper that needs to go in the hamper um, before I uh, leave for work in the morning. So anywho, there it is, y'all. If you're looking for this uh, item, there will be a link down in the description box below. And you're able to click on that link and check it out. Thanks so much. That fits right there, no problem. So what I got to do, Jack, take this away, mm -hmm. is I want to move that dresser. Can we get these down? I'm going to have to move that dresser over here. It's going to go in front of this because I'm going to move this over there. And then I'm turning the bed back that way. Alrighty, you guys. So here the kids and I are, well, mom, really, just really uh, moving stuff around. I have a lot of stuff in my bedroom. I use this as my bedroom where I sleep. The dogs are in here. I have my office in here. Not my office office, but my filming space. Maybe that's a better word. My filming space. And so I just was not achieving bedroom peace. And that's important to me. So um, I was at work earlier in the day and the Lord just dropped in my spirit how I could make this room work out better. I mean, it's like that for me. A lot of people would say, the Lord didn't tell you. The Lord told me. I was just minding my business at my place of work and it came into my mind, do this. And I was like, okay, this is gonna make it better because I have changed this bedroom around 9,000 times. And it was just in this moment that it actually came to me how it should be. And I was so very, very thankful that the Lord would even grace me to be able to come up with that plan. So thankful, thankful that he gave me the right mind to be able to hear his voice, even in the area of how to arrange this bedroom so I would achieve some peace. <laughs> What I'm going to say is, no, what I'm going to say is, if I can get this bed moved, I will be halfway through. I need to protect my legacy and I need to live on. Ha! I'm going to kill everybody. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to get the to live longer. Ha! Well, I need to live long enough to build this house before you. Ha! You want to bomb bomb? Uh, are we getting you want to cheat with your big boy? It doesn't matter boys. if you move out or boys. not. Ha! Okay, the end. Actually, so. considering I'm an adult and you won't be 13 until Saturday, I ought to sleep in here. I'm going to slap somebody <laughs> in Jesus' name. <laughs> Sit down. No, no. Come on. Mom, well, where are we going? Uh, let's where go here. Going? Acro, move, please. Come oh, on. What do I do? Thank you. Okay. Just down the line. Why you're going up. I'm flipping it this way, sister. Which way? Let it this down. down. Yes. Well, I thought we were going that way. I am as soon as I get it down. I thought we were doing sideways, miss. Hey, little buddy. That makes no sense. Yeah, it was making sense to me. And not to nobody that has sense. <laughs> I'm pushing. Just like the girl said, I'm pushing. Oh, no. The TV. Yeah, 
Yeah, the bathroom's a good idea. When one thinks, they have nothing to think but some thoughts. Good enough. Jackson, what are you doing besides bothering our spirit? Mom, let me, Mom, let me bless you with some wisdom. Okay. <laughs> when one thinks, they have nothing to think about except thoughts. <laughs> We're going this way now. For the dog We're going this way. This way. <laughs> this way? Move, move, move! What are you doing? Acro! Ah. Move! Acro! Go! Go! Or, or, or not. What are you doing? You <laughs> chewing with the big boy? Somebody take a picture for Shamika! Yeah. We ain't got any more phones left. He chewing with the big boy. Uh, it'll, it'll be. All right, so we're back at it. Alana is a very good helper. Um, she does help me do quite a few things around the house. And I, you know, I find that this is just a way of training my children to at some point uh, move out. And of course, yes, we had to have a quick dance break. We had some music playing in the background. So of course I had to speed through this part because we didn't want to get any copyright claims. So there we are just trying to figure out this desk placement. But immediately when we moved it, I could tell that it was going to do what I needed it to do. Jackson is feeling it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's getting his groove on. <laughs> He's such a cute kid. They are very, very, very helpful to me. And I'm very thankful. So um, we didn't, we couldn't get the chair around the desk. So we decided to just lift it over. And of course, the um, backdrop. The green season decided it did not want to be green but the devil is a lie the lord said it's green season and we putting it back up so again uh we figured out i needed a little bit more space to get myself through that uh entrance into the office area that's where i do my filming like all of my me uh, member meetings my um, titus two women meetings my daughters of grace meetings and so it just made sense to have all of that in one specific space um yeah it just it just made sense to have the bedroom be the bedroom and the office be the office so again i was just very thankful that the kids are willing to jump in and help mom they do an excellent job and i'm just very blessed to have them in my life and so here we are now trying to make the giant uh, screen plus the other screen work and um, I think we did a pretty good job everybody had a job to do and we all did the things that were necessary for our part part or portion of what we were doing so it all worked out very well in the end
Alrighty, you guys, so here we are. We are done in the bedroom. This to me feels much, much better, even though I have to have my office in here. So it's not middle of the room, which of course would have cut my door off a little. So we kind of edged it over just a, a tiny hair, which works out perfectly fine. I still have my printer here, which works out. So what I did was I moved the dresser from over here to just have a specific office space exclusive. And then I moved the dresser over here so that this is where all my jewelry pieces and things are. I do have some, um, this is a review I still have to do. And then I just have to call these boxes down, a couple reviews that I still have to do. But I have the bed that's here, right? All of my pillows are there. So that works out really good. When I had the desk over here, I couldn't get through here. But now I have the chair, the bed, and then it leads into what is going to be just the bedroom section. Now, once I, I'm going to get these boxes out of here. Those boxes will not be there. But for right now, they're going. I do have my Asakuki um, uh, mister going. I think we have some relaxation or some um, motivation is probably going in there. And then here's some cards that I was received for uh, Easter. And just some love from some of you lovelies. Thank you. And then here's the desk, right? So this is probably not going to stay here because I don't like a lot of stuff on my desk. I do have a little bit of paperwork I got to deal with. And then I'm using two computers because I'm just trying to get some stuff done. But anywho, there it is. And don't forget you guys to go and check out LifeWit for their hamper, the expandable hamper. Um, if you are interested in that, there'll be a code down in the description box below, a link and a code where you can check them out. But here it is. The kids and I really rocked it out. Could have been done three hours ago, but they slow. So we pray for them in Jesus name. But anywho, there it is. If you liked the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys next time. Bye now.